Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how we can connect our Android device with Visual Studio 2022 and run our applications on it. Yeah, but before we get started, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So as you can see, I've got a Visual Studio 2022 open. To get us started here, yeah? so I've actually opened without without any any <coughs> projects open. So from the Visual Studio, we, we come to tools here, yeah? and we go to get tools and features. So here, as you can see, it's loading. So let's wait for a bit. Oh, I'm just going to pause. OK, it's, it's open here. So once we've got our Visual Studio installer open here, let's click on the individual components. And let's scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down. Let's scroll down all the way to SDKs, libraries, and frameworks. Yeah. And let's scroll down. Let's look for um, USB connectivity. So we click on that, we check this box here, yeah? and then we click on the modified. We say yes. So I'm just gonna close the Visual Studio. Okay, so this will actually download and install the necessary components needed for us. So while the download and installation is taking place here, yeah, I'm just going to open uh, my, I'm just going to display my Android device on the screen so that I can show you how you can um, enable the de developer mode for your Android um, device, yeah? Okay, so we've got something showing here. So before we get started, save your work before continue, you need to close the following process, the note. So we're just going to click on continue. So as you can see, I've got my Android device. So this is my Android phone that I've connected it using the uh, using Viper. Yeah. So what we do is we go to be to able to enable developer mode for our Android device. We go to settings. Yeah. So on the settings, we scroll down to the about phone. Yeah. This is Android. 13. So we, so we click on the about phone. So here we look for the software information. So on the software information, we look for the build number. Yeah. So on the build number, yeah, we, we tap it for about eight to 10 times. So as you can see, yeah, I've got this message showing that no need developer mode is already on. So I've, I've already enabled it. That's how I'm able to actually display it on the screen, yeah? But to be able to be, uh, enable the developer mode, that's what you have to do. So once you're done with that bit here, you come to the developer options. So on the developer options here, you have to make sure you, you turn on USB debugging. So debug mode when you, USB is connected. So make sure you turn on the USB debugging, yeah? And also make sure you turn on um stay awake so that the screen will not will not go yeah so as you can see uh, on the bus really i've got the uh, usb i mean connectivity uh, completed i mean the download installation completed so let's op let's launch the visual studio 2022 yeah so you go ahead and launch the visual studio So here, as you can see, let's continue without code. So here, we, we go back to the tools, and then we Android, and then Android SDK Manager. Click here. So here, we go to the tools, and click extras. So on the extra bit here, scroll down, and we look for um, Google USB driver. So we select the Google USB driver, and then we apply changes. 
We accept the terms. So, okay, so while the download and installation is taking effect, yeah, basically you have to be, you have to be able to connect your phone via USB to the computer or your laptop. Yeah, so to be able to actually, um, actually um, run the, your application on your device. So now we've got the installation completed. So let me have a look quickly. So as you can see, it's installed, yeah? So what we do is we close this bit. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go back. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're just gonna create a very simple Android application. But before we do that, yeah, let's, let's close the Visual Studio and reopen it. And then let's close the Visual Studio installer as well. So we're just going to open a, um, another Visual Studio. So now what we will do is uh, we create a new project. So here it's on the desktop, so we can select form. Uh, let's go to all project types here. Yeah? Let's look for form, 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 form. Uh, I'm find it. So let's select all projects. Guys, let's leave it at um, all platforms and and C sharps. So let's look for the Android or uh, Android app. So here, as you can see, we've got Android app. Yes. So this is just a project template for creating an Android phone and tablet application. So we select this here. We click on the next. And here, obviously, you can configure your project details, but let's move on. So here, we're just going to select a navigation drawer app here. And here, you can also select, you can select your Android version type here. So we're just gonna, we're gonna select the Android 13. And we just click OK. So this will actually create the project for us. Okay, so as you can see here now, I've got my uh, my Android device showing. Yeah, so I'm I'm using Samsung M23. So as you can see, I can directly run this application on my phone. Yeah, so I'm just going to grab my phone emulator here. Uh, but let's run it first. But I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, so this is my phone. So I'm just going to. Let's go to the front page. So let's go ahead and run the application on my phone and see what actually happens. It might take a while, so I'm just gonna pause the video while the whole thing loads, yeah? So I'm just up, gonna share my phone. So as you can see, this is my mobile phone, and I've actually got the, the Android running on it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna. So as you can see, it's got a bunch of. I mean, this is a draw application. Yeah. So it's nothing really inside, but this obviously to show you how the whole thing works. Yeah. So as you can see, it's not very difficult. So now. I guess you're able to connect your device to Visual Studio and run your application on your phone directly. So I'll leave this video here. But once again, yeah, please like the video if you find it interesting and subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of videos coming up. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.